Well, not the typical drop it on the uh, table kind of thing here. So, what's on the bench this time? The first McCullough produced chainsaw from their factory. The 1225A, built in 1949. I have no idea what the numbers stand for. I know what the second models stand for. Um, what do we know about this one? It does run. We do have a video on that. And it was running on Prime. Uh, it did not come with a starter recoil, which I do have one of those. I do have a carb kit for this, or at least the diaphragm. I've got all that. And that's going to be first. Um, so I got this one and a 549 together and a six foot bar, which me and another guy did a deal on, and he kept the six foot bar, chain, and helper handle, and I kept the power heads. So that's how I ended up with these. Um, now I'm just losing my train of thought. Last video, I had to restore the spark, get underneath the flywheel, and that's a process on these, and I can see why the design changed later, because you have to take the frame off of everything, the power head here, in order to get the shroud off, and to get to underneath the flywheel. And later on, they changed it to where you don't have to do that anymore. Over here, I, could, I don't know if this is what put it out of service or what. It didn't even come with the, cha the, uh, the transmission. I put that on because I had that laying around. So, it looks like a metal pole or something smacked on it, and that is the entire gas tank. These had a separate oiler canister, which I have one of those. It goes right here for oil in the bar. A really big one, too. So we've got that. You can't run these without the transmissions on them. Rev them up because the clutch shoes will expand to the housing and could cause a big problem quick. So our first task here is to get inside this carburetor and see what's going on whether we want to take the carburetor all the way off or if we can get away with just putting a kit in it like i did the other one and i have another top for this too and i'll put that on there from another 1225a i've got outside that is parts this one also does not have a muffler on it i've got that it's ugly but it's there, and it'll match the rest of the saw. Ugly. So, without further ado, and the primer even works, I can at least hear it trying to pump. So, without further ado, let's get inside this carburetor. I was requested, hey, do you have a rebuild video of this? And, no, I don't. Of a carburetor on flame. And these things are like as this tall. They're a massive carburetor, and just two bolts holds it on. Two bolts. A fuel line and undo your throttle cable here, which I got to replace the trigger because it got broke. Still functions, but it's just missing most of it. So, and last I knew, it had spark. So, and I was starting it with a drill. So, let's get into this carburetor and see what's going on, shall we? Now, flipped over, the fuel line attaches via a banjo bolt here. So hopefully that will be nice and come off for us and we won't have to mess with that too much because the fuel line, I've had to make a new one on a 755 I have and that's a little bit of a nightmare process. So, And these engines are reverse rotation from a standard chainsaw that you may look at the flywheels if you look at the flywheel on these they turn clockwise while other the rest of the chainsaws and everything turn counterclockwise so and guys back in the day don't know what happened there it uh video just stopped so anyways well, thankfully i can see the screen so where was i 
yeah, framework on these had changed and everything, so. Uh, well, safe to say, just a uh, quick change out wasn't going to do much for us there. <laughs> yeah, that's going to need a uh, cleaned out for sure. That's completely clogged. But yeah, there's the uh, where the fuel goes through on the line. So, oh, I'm not even supposed to be holding this in my hand. <laughs> so the line is completely rotted. So we're gonna have to we gotta we're gonna have to get the fuel tank off and stuff anyways from the looks of it. Do barb fittings and stuff. That's gonna be another fun one. Kind of figured the fuel line wasn't going to hold up after all of these years. And it just completely severed itself from that. The fitting. Yeah. So, anyways. Well, now that we're going to be super careful because of a fuel line. Let's get super into it, shall we? Hitting that. Get those off. I think I've had those. No, I haven't had those out yet. Or I might have loosened one. I can't remember what I've done. That was months ago. What an adventure this one's going to be. Yeah, see what it goes like right in front of my face. Oh, my carbs loose. Take the fuel valve up on top up here. And we're just gonna unscrew it out. Before I didn't know that. So and there's a shut screw right there. You can readjust it to find the position, but that's how you shut your valve, your gas off, you meter how much goes into it, and you kind of adjust it on the fly. This is your fuel shut off needle. In quotes needle. the needle. Jeez. Uh, throttle table has and I just I went and bought one guy. I bought needle nose. Went out I was at Harbor Freight today and it's like it's the first thing I grabbed three different types. So pull the pin for the throttle cable. Get her undone. What's left of a pin back in to there. I don't think there's anything else going to stop us that I know of or can remember. What you got back there? I say bear with me. Can't remember if there's more screws or not, but as loose as it is, I want to say maybe. Wonder if I got to remove the sediment bowl too when I get to that stage. And it's loose, but not loose from something.
Let me, uh, instead of wasting time showing the fight this, I might come back after. It feels like something. Come back when I get her fought out. Alright, figured it out after a moment. There's a screw. Down here. Yeah, right there. See it in the corner there? Right there. It holds it on. And it was loose. Let's get this beer can. The other ones did not have that screw. I'm not saying they didn't from the factory, but when I got to them, they didn't. So, there's that screw. And let's pull this. There we go. That is a carburetor. Now, these are rotary valve intake, from my understanding, and I've never, from what I've seen, and I've never had to, I've never seen one in action. Not that I'm looking to actually do that, but that'd be a nice spot right there to build an adapter and put a 090 carp right on this old girl. And you got a cable and the pin's gone, which that thing probably needs replaced anyways. And a cable that could drive that thing. There's an idea, right? Yeah, we ain't gonna do that. Well, that fuel line is beyond dead. So, we will have to take the tank off, and there's a couple, there's one nut right there for it and everything and stuff like that. So, we're probably going to be tearing this thing down just a little bit. Not that it's overly complicated on how this one works, but we're going to be doing some separation of frame and everything so we'll turn to that when that time comes sitting here observing and looking into it well we'll get to tear into that more and have that adventure together right the carb so this is a check ball valve back here, one way direction for fuel flow. Your idle mixture under your primer rod and primer button. Your idle speed, which it looks like this one has been messed with many of the times. So you know, let's put the idle speed on the very bottom. Says right there, adjust idle adjust screw. I think. Yeah, idle stop adjust screw. Right there. We won't mess with that. Mixture. Beer can. And right behind here is where we gotta go for our metering diaphragm. So without further ado. I should have named this one can of worms. And these screws are like different lengths for everybody too. Some of them are different than others. And I've converted one over to Allen's just because I was at Ace that day. Yeah, I think we want to. But the idle's been adjusted quite a bit more than this thing's been apart. What do you think the inside of this thing's gonna look like? Good, bad, yay, nay? Oh wait, that's right, this one. Goes all the way through to like La La Land or something. Slightly over here.
Oh, look at that, a dead fly. What a place to die. That's the long one. I don't actually know if they're going to take this one out right here, but we're going to anyways. Another long one. At least we get the card knocked out, right? Try to attempt it. I don't think the fuel line's going to be too bad, but I fear the inside of that gas tank is just gnarly. Right, where does this screw go to? I couldn't tell you at this very second. Trying to find an exit point for her, and I'm not finding one. Oh, um, okay. All right, moment of truth. Here we gooey, dry and nice. We'll crud it up. Crunchy, soft. <laughs> well, that wasn't going to be doing any pulsation anytime soon. Crunchy it is. But back here is where the air is, and that's where it's clean. There's another screw right there. Yeah, somebody's been in here. You can see the, uh, the witness marks, the toolings right there, where somebody fought to get that off. So this carb has been rebuilt before. So it tells me this saw wasn't real. It was uh, was used quite a bit. And it kind of points to maybe the tank was put onto it. Somebody slapped it on there and put it up because the flywheel shroud on it is missing most of this paint. But the tank is an oddball and clean and yellow. So it probably had a tank swap done to it because somebody broke one and. You know that's just my theory but somebody somebody's been in here before all right power of course you can also see other marks too but that could just be because you gotta clean off your sediment sometimes Unfortunately, the kit does not come with this. It just came with a metering diaphragm. I had this kit made a couple of years back before I was making my own, so we would be doing that right now if it had not been for that. But nothing said, now that we've got a good one, we can always have a backup. Not that I plan on using this saw every single day of my life. And that sediment bowl pretty sure if I pan what's inside of it, I will not find gold. Don't do this at home, kids. There we go. Said I had spare bowls, so. Hmm. I'm not gonna find gold there. And there's your filter screen. This is when I need an ultrasonic cleaner. Now it's at Harbor Freight Finn. Guess what I didn't buy? That's going to be a fight to get out. I don't know if that's going to come quietly. So, got a bowl full of dust. I stake seasoning. So, we might pick that out later. In a bit, whatever. Primer. I'm thinking it works because I heard it, but we'll have to verify when we get fuel. 
There's something dead in there. It looks like cellophane from a cigarette pack. Somebody crammed down inside of it. That's exactly what that is. It's cellophane from a cigarette pack. We'll come back to that big old part later. So, let's get time peel back here. That side looked good. What's the inside of this looking like if the rest of that is pretty nasty. Where's my picks at? Some of these have had a metal ring under them. I don't know if this one's true or not, but I'm thinking maybe so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this one is one of those that didn't. I know my other one did. Well, it's got a little oily, so maybe it was saved under there after all. Uh, which direction did that go? released here. There we go. Hey, it's dodged another bullet. Crunchy. So, clean. Wow, bonus fudge. Some. Can I try some of that, guys? There you go. I'll have some fudge. Juicy. All right. Obviously, it's nighttime. Well, okay, you don't know that, but I do. So this video will be quite a few parts from the looks of it. It is a fuel drain right there. The screw right there. Wait, no, that's your fuel drain. Your idle's right here. My bad. My bad. So this thing had it was getting its fuel drained quite often. Obviously not right now, it ain't, but. So, this is your metering lever. There is a ball on the other side, which is right here. So, fuel enters, one-way ball valves out. And surprisingly, that freely moves. This won't be too bad. Shouldn't be too bad to clean. Because this won't need too much love. But at least they were draining the fuel. And this is a split design. Shockingly enough, though, somebody's been in, but the paint is still on, so how far in depth they actually went, I couldn't tell you. It looks like a primer might have been redone. See, the screws are missing their paint and stuff on that. That's some tool marks, but other than that, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. That moves freely. 
that and just freely if I put it in camera. So, but I mean, the size of this thing is huge. The monsters for a carburetor. And a bunch of little tiny ports on the inside and everything that meter out air, air, and sh sh crap like that. Almost slipped. Not today. Not today. So. We will have to. We'll just take it down, might as well. I really want to avoid making gaskets on some stuff, but we're going to have to go the whole way. Gotta get that screen out. That might have to soak. I might have to get the gallon of carb cleaner, but it's going to take all the paint off of this, unfortunately, if I do that. Yeah, it sounds like it's good, so. I don't know, maybe somebody wasn't in here because you still, like, say, you still see the paint. Maybe somebody just got overzealous in the factory. Who knows? Might get away with not having to split this, to be honest. Go ahead and see if we can fight that screen out. I keep you in camera. Uh, there's the gasket. But y'all have to make a new one. It's cork. I've got that as material. Yummy. We might be able to save that. the bowl. And all that's going to do is just goes back here to this nut and helps hold the two pieces together. That I'm not sure about that. No. no that's just part of the blade. Okay, so that and those two up there. All right, and for my own future reference, straight up and down to begin with. That's it. That's all the mixture needed was not even a quarter turn, like an eighth of a turn. Yeah, quarter top. So. Let me get that figured out, though. I would almost want to say it's supposed to be more than that. Just like a modern-day carburetor, just over-engineered and bigger. So, all right. I'll get to cleaning these parts, and we'll be back to put her back together. And then we can move on to the next thing, shall we? Much cleaner. I didn't even have to split it. Original paint from the looks of it too. So let's put back what we can of her, shall we? Uh, let's see, hold on. Let us no, that's gonna the hooks to unscrew that way onto yeah, the body itself. I'll have to wait for that, the valve. So, the new stuff. Wish mine looked that nice. What's your, what side did the gasket go on? The air side. Now, I did order this for this. Now, hopefully, it was sent correctly. 
and I'm not going to have to modify because this is the same problem I had on the 549. I ordered a gasket and everything and whatnot, and it wouldn't fit, so I figured I'd have to make one. It's kind of looking like that's what I'm going to have to do here, as this might be an early style guessing. I'm going to have to modify this gasket. Let's see. So I had the wrong gaskets sent to me. They are not the same. So what holes are going to have to be either added or modified or done to it? this even line up if we're going to go this far real quick. Yeah, okay, it does. I'm just holding stuff wrong. There we go. But, see we're having the same problem here. I've got a metering diaphragm that is not lining up as it should. So, despite that this was sent to me, because I wrote that down before I sent it out, that metering diaphragm was not made correctly. I don't think I can make it work in my favor here. I gotta get the fuel line ones. So it looks like I'm going to have to make my own or try and modify this one somehow. I have to keep the angle of this correct. See this one. So, and this down here is just like some air passage. I could, it's not even an air passage, it's just some like reservoir spot. So, this down here does not matter, it's just this part has to seal up for this channel for fuel. So, and then we need this hole opened here also. Yeah, it's just simply not going to work in our favor, unfortunately. I was hoping to have it put together. So probably off screen, I'll make the correct one. And if you want to check out that video, there's a video on how to make a metering diaphragm. Just literally type that in, how to make a metering diaphragm into YouTube. And there's a video on how to do that. Yeah, see. We can't even make this one work. So I have no idea what this one would go to unless it's uh, the later designs. Like for the Model 99 or something. I'm going to get this lined up here. That's right there, like so. The fuel ones line up, then I've got to wallow that one out. And then that one right there, however, just overlaps and it would leak into the air chamber. So that will not work, unfortunately, the one I had made for me. I have no idea what that goes to at this point. So we are going to have to make one, and I'll do that off screen. So, hopefully we return to this point with a shiny new one made from this. And that one I'll just leave as is. 
because I'm going to have to trace this whole one out here. Which is why it's important not just to rip, rare, and tear there, because if I had done that, then we would be SOL. And I'm going to have to make a gasket from this too. So, it's going to be a little bit of work ahead of me on that. We shall be back here. Hopefully soon. Doing a quick comparison here. Now, I know for a fact this came out of my 1225A, another one I have outside. And this gasket matches up. So this is for 1225A, this set. However, so this either had a different style, later style carburetor put onto it for whatever reason. Or it's a later production. Not sure what's going on there with that. So... Tells me that one out there might be all original and this is a different carb, like the 549 style that I have. So either I have an option of build my own, which I'm gonna do, or go rob the carb off that other one, but that other one is it's that salt's not looking good. So we'll just go with building our own. Just figured I'd do that real quick comparison. Alright. It's been about a week simply because how do I put this I was doing woodworking and everything I'm building an island bar combo and got the top and everything as far as I could before I had to order a couple things and everything so we left off last time if I remember right with the metering diaphragm kit that I've got that is does not fit this unfortunately so yeah, whatever doesn't fit it so completely wrong style so what did I make up earlier you guessed it I made a homemade one of course we got to put the gaskets and stuff in but chest fit and make sure everything's fine here copied off the old one yep holes line up everybody's looking good here so Sure, our gasket's going to be happy too. And this only took 30 to 45 minutes to make. I mean, this, this is real simple. So, looks like everybody might be a little bit happy here. Fuel inlet holes are lining up. So, that's my best one yet, right there. <laughs> Got a dead on. So, let's go ahead and get this together. Try to remember everything where we leave it off here and stuff like that. So, Carbs all cleaned. Primer does work. Works great. Um, the only thing I may have an issue with is this gasket right here. The cork one may or may not work. But I think I've gotten it to work for us from a Tilly HL kit. So. Glass bulb is in perfect shape. Doesn't even stink. So. Alright. Well, let's get her... Let's get her back together. This video series is just a carburetor rebuild and everything. We've got a ways to go and whatnot, but that's every build, right? Get the seat lower down here. So, got that seal all on both sides to make sure it doesn't leak or anything like that. And it's still got a cure time, but this, by the time we get this running, cure time is going to be all done. So, it's like I need to scrape that off real quick right there and everything and we'll put that on there gasket on the back side yeah yeah I'll have to double check that yeah yeah I'll, I'll check that and be sure but I'm pretty sure it's where it goes so all right let me get that cleaned off here and then uh which I should have probably done last but I didn't and uh be right back. All right, yeah, guess get on the back. Cause you look at the old one here, where the fuel inlet was, and how it sits, and it's on the back. So good to know. All right, <sighs> got it cleaned up. I'll make sure we can fight it on here. That's a 
biggest part is fighting that on here. There we go. Uh, how did I do that last time? Get the bolts started through, I think it was. And don't forget your little feed hole there. Anybody remember which bolts went where? I kind of have a... Having an idiot attack. Nope. Yep. Maybe I should start mapping those out. Let's see. That's threaded immediately. So I presume that one goes there. That's an immediate thread. That is a short one. It's one that has paint that was on it. But seeing that these ones are the same size. They'll do just fine, eh, Lati? Make sure these are the same. Oh yeah, we've already got that one established. Kind of one of the who goes where kind of deals. Is there two, three bolts to go and I've got a mystery flavor. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. There we go. We'll get her figured here. You definitely do not go in there. We'll pry you back out. Guess I should clean that surface too, huh? Dang, I really neglected doing some work on this. Let's see here. He fits down instead of a square. Make sure you guys can see. Wow, I was wrong. All right, quick noise alert. Maybe. What I use to clean the gasket surfaces, just a drill and. That. Real simple. And that's your one way ball valve assembly right there. These were longer ones. As for this guy, it's kind of a mythery. Somebody somewhere doesn't belong somewhere. But I know that's a longer one right there. So what do you do? I know. The nut. One of them had a nut. No, that was on the inside. Okay. A longer one goes in there, but I don't see him on the table. just gonna bother me somewhat. That's definitely a longer.
You gotta pick in front of you, doofus. Use it. See? It doesn't work. Maybe I engineered it better. of a mystery. I might have to look back on the video. That's what happens when I spend a week in between things. He's the longest next one. This old guy right here. Don't fit in that one either. Somebody's got a magic combo here somewhere. And I remember those two being longer ones. Yeah, I'll look back on the video here and uh, be right back. Oh, looking back on the video real quick, that screw is the incorrect one. It just sat like that. So somebody put the wrong one in because the threads for it are right there. So we're going to have to... Don't let me forget. We'll uh, push it out as a reminder. So... All right, let's get that primer hooked back on, shall we? Sucks from the bull directly into throat here to help ease your start. Obviously, the definition of a primer. You take this off, and it has access to your butterfly valves. That's how they put it together. And there's nothing wrong with these ones, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Bit and up here. I'm trying to remember. Last time I had troubles with this too. It's like the puzzle from heck. Alright. Almost. You're wrong. Wrong. Getting warmer. I'm on fire! It's all original paint, too. That's quite amazing. So good that that stayed on, the locking part, despite me washing and scrubbing it. I haven't even looked in how to how the tank or anything. Said I've just been busy all week with uh, with a big project. Good enough. There. Click. Alright. So let's go ahead and get the glass bolt put on here. Cleaned out the screen the best I could. And getting the bowl on this uh, washer gasket thing is going to be a pretty close thing because as you can see might just work or it might just not and if not I might 
make my own. Got the material somewhere, but don't ask me where. Feels all good in the rubbery right there. Where do we get that from? Oh, yeah. You're, uh, you're staring right at it. If it doesn't leak, it'll be a miracle. I don't remember how that went on either. It just kind of grips on. I got a couple nubs there. It keeps from falling off. Just kind of centers it right there with the two little nubs on the bottom. He wants to bet that leaks. I have a feeling that's like a homemade setup there, but I'm not sure. Trying to line up the screw at the center of that cushion thing. That's where it was. It's like it doesn't want to cooperate, however. Like, not a bit. there. Should we do a test? Oh yeah, no matter how tight we clamp that, that puppy's going to leak with that seal, so we'll, uh, we'll get another one made up here. There ain't no way I'm going to get that on the first shot. Yeah. So, let me see if I can find that material real quick. And through the magical world of video editing, we've got one of them. Compared to little old, so. Well, if I got that uh, correct size, so I probably got a little too big, go figure. So I'll trim the outside ever so slightly. Last time I used the roll of cork, I remember I had to make one of these for this, for a 7.55. And it's holding, so I know the cork will work. Leaking only where it needs to. By the time we get it tightened down and everything should be filled. Now, don't be that way. We're trying to get you back up and running and take you to shows and all that fun stuff. We really don't want to show a bad example to the world, do we? No. So what does that mean? It means you are going to screw down. Oh, 
helps to get it on the nut, past the nub over there, doesn't it, guys? Uh, and those are the nubs I'm talking about. I presume you put those right up against those and then tighten down. Not leaking. So that means we are good on that. So. What else is there on the car? Oh, the idle screw. What was that? Like, not even a half turn? We'll put her at three quarter. Light seat. Half. Three quarter of that. That's it. So we'll put her there. I think that's everything on this carburetor. This giant beer can of a carburetor. So. Alright, well that's pretty much rebuilding one. Making a meter and diaphragm, which I have the video on that. Um... If I remember to put it in the link, I'll do that along with the first startup video of this too and everything if you guys want to. I mean, so it's late at night. I'm tired, but I was definitely determined to get this done tonight for you guys. So per request and everything, um, that's our primer button, primer rods around here. I just saw them not too long ago. So, all right. So, oh, there it is. So, thank you for watching. Sorry about taking so long on the between videos here and everything. Said I had a little bit of life catch up and everything and stuff to do and whatnot. Just finding time. The couple weeks off everything. So, we'll have to get into that gas tank next and everything. Get a fittings put on to the banjo here and whatnot. And I'm not sure what it's all going to take to get that gas tank off. Um... I know pulling the engine from the frame was one thing I had to do with the points, and thank goodness they, uh, by the third model, they figured that out. That uh, was a pain in the butt and made it to where just the shroud can come off without everything coming off. So we'll get more into that. Um, we got to change the fuel tank top and a whole bunch of other stuff to do here. So stick around, everybody. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe. I mean, we're going to have quite a few of these. And, uh, yeah, the racing saw had some parts coming and everything like that. So, you're definitely going to want to watch for that and everything on that. We're get this saw kind of knocked out of the park here. Hopefully, go back to the race saw and everything on what to do. Because we've got one monster of an intake. And that's all I'm going to say. Friends out of mine on Facebook already know what's going on it. So... But we've got one monster of an intake setup being put on and everything and whatnot. So, say, thanks for watching.